All right, beautiful people. Once again, this is Jose Trujillo, the world's greatest living artist. Bam! Oh, I forgot some of my stuff. Hold on there. Don't go away. I'll be there right now. I'm back. <laughs> I need some paper to clean the brushes. Some people, some people think that I don't clean. I don't know because I, I only show you know that uh, aspect of the painting. They're like, they're like, what's behind? What's behind? You know what's behind? Check it out on uh, where on Snapchat. I'm always putting cool behind the scenes on Snapchat. Anyways, let's have some people here. Enjoy the Kentucky Derby. Some heads right here. They're like, oh, look at the Kentucky Derby, it's so awesome. I've always wanted to go to the Kentucky Derby. Well, I guess I didn't want to go that bad because I haven't gone. But it seems like a cool place to, you know, it seems like a cool place to be at. It seems like things are happening there. Uh, and then we'll, we'll put little horses right now. Seems like, seems like that's the place. So this is uh, simple again, okay? Simple, simplicity. Why? Because we're we're going for we're going for the real deal. <laughs> we're going for the real deal, my real deal. <laughs> All right, let's 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 make this lady have a, a big hat too. This big Kentucky Derby hats. Okay, this is a dude. Here's another dude right here. He's like, hey, what's up, you guys? But no, not the ladies. The ladies are like super um, dressed up. Love it. This one's a brunette. Some of my favorite themes by Degas was, of course, his uh, horse uh, race paintings. And I like how um, some of the paintings were very... Because he loved classical artwork, right? He loved that, that very... Uh, he, he wasn't like the rest of the Impressionists, although we lump him, him in there. He really wasn't. He was, a, he was kind of his own thing, but... A bit misunderstood because, um, well, just because that's the way he was, you know. He was a he was a different type of cat. He is very much into into very classical type of work, of course. Uh, I'm not trying to give you guys a lecture on it. You guys can go go. It's worth a Google. Read a book on them or whatever. But um, very cool cat, nonetheless, or nevertheless, like I like to say it. So yeah, they're all they're all having a great time here. They're having a great time. They're like, hey, what's going on there? Muy impressionist. Muy muy impressionist. They're like, what's going on? Nothing. Just, uh, just enjoy the, enjoy the awesomeness here. The Genesis Quas. Okay. 
Let's use magenta for the hat, just because we can. Okay. Let's put a huge rose right here. To make the other hat um, white. Let's make it white. And let's also put a rose right here. Some flowers. Decorative. Decorative flowers. See? This is the cool thing about this painting. You really have to look <laughs> to see what's happening. Uh, I have a, a a collector who's a, uh, he is a, a music maestro and he gets together with uh, uh, some friends who are mathematicians and philosophers, he's, he's into those awesome circles and they like to talk about the paintings that, you know, that I, that, that they buy for me or he buys for me and, and uh, he gets, a, you know, he gets happy and excited to talk to me about, you know, the awesomeness of uh, what they find in the work once they start looking into it. It's, it's a bit of a hobby for them, I think. I thought it was pretty cool. When he told me that, my, my eyes got so big, I was like, whoa, really? That's awesome. Like, I don't know, I'm just kind of painting. But I guess it's cool that, you know, you guys can see, you guys can see something more. Okay, there we go. And now the field. But in this case, because the field is the background, of course, right? I'm going to I'm gonna bring it down a notch. There it is. Right? This this won't have the same um, playfulness, I guess, if you will. This is a very matter of fact. It's a background. It's not always like this, but today it is. Okay. It'll juxtapose, I guess. It'll balance also what's happening in the foreground. It's one of the things that I liked about the guy. He used to play with that a lot. And I, I, I think because he understood uh, classical art, and I'm not talking about like like classical from his time. Uh, he he liked like old art. <laughs> he liked like Renaissance type of work. I guess that wouldn't be classical, but it was for him. Okay, and then a little bit of this, just a little bit. Sort of letting people know that something's happening here, but but it's not so easy to figure it out. You have to you have to look. If it was very easy to figure out. Uh, this is one of the things you might consider in your artwork. Um, it wouldn't be interesting. Remember, part, part of the artwork, um, if you don't know this, is the drama. That's, wh that's why we go to a play. That's why we go to a movie. You don't, in, in no movie. This is one of the things that people, I, I don't get when people tell me, like, I don't get it, you know. <laughs> it, it doesn't look realistic. Or, or you know stuff like that it's like it's it's artwork it's artwork it's not supposed to be in any movie that you go nothing ever in any good movie 
Well, in any movie, first of all, you go to any movie, any cinema, any movie, something has to go wrong for there to be a story, right? Something has to go wrong, okay? And a movie, a very good movie, that's any movie, any movie, something has to go wrong. In a, in a, you know, you start out the movie and then all of a sudden something happens and then that's the, you know, that's where the movie starts, right? Uh, name any movie. <laughs> at least, at least uh, in the movie theaters. I don't know about all those other darker movies. And then in any good movie, um, nothing, uh, nothing really gets resolved. In bad movies, everything gets resolved. But in good movies, nothing really ever gets resolved. Something tragic happens, and uh, the hero has to grow, right? The, uh, the, the what do you call it? What's the name? Of, what's that hero's name? Archetype hero has to grow. If he doesn't, if nothing major happens, if he doesn't go into the belly of the whale, any any major story, right? If he or she doesn't uh, um, lose a loved one, that changes, alters, um, then then. Uh, then it's not a good story, right? It doesn't do well. And I'm not talking about tickets, but it doesn't get remembered. It's what I'm talking about. Because something has to go wrong. In every good movie, something has to go wrong. And that's a mark, you know, of movies. This is speed, okay? <laughs> So in a painting, I mean, come on, the whole damn thing has to be wrong <laughs> in order for there to be, to be uh, um, reality, in order for there to be growth, in order for there to be drama, the whole thing. And I'm not talking about the brushwork, I'm not talking about that, I'm talking about everything, you know, in every, every good painting, something is always off. Either someone, something's missing, the composition gets played with. The, if there's reality, if there's hyper-reality, then the composition gets played with, usually. Or if there's, um, if there is no floral risk, you know, if it's impressionism, uh, then the composition is placed uh, magically. <laughs> it's, but something has to be off, you know. It's a... Uh, which is the way it is. I didn't make up the rules. I just play by them and break them. All right. Let's put some flowers. Because, you know, the garden's in front or something like that, right? And then There's a rail right here for some reason. Something's happening. Okay. Bam. Off to the races. This lady's enjoying because her horse, her horse is winning. Little did she know that my name was gonna be her. Bam. Jose Trujillo. Once again, I did it again. Thank you so much for for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this. This is a fun day at the Kentucky Derby. Bam. Right from my studio. <laughs>